quarantine and social distancing measures in place at all of their prisons. But with over 600 cases of COVID right now at Eddie Warrior Correctional Center in Taft, family members of inmates, as you can imagine, are really concerned. My friends that are there, when they call, um, they sound so depressed and down. There's almost 800 people in any warrior's prison right now. Uh, only 30 people have tested negative for the coronavirus, and there's about 100 people still pending their results. We didn't get our lunch and dinner until 9 o'clock last Saturday night. Uh, and then they feed us one spoonful, one little bitty spoonful of macaroni and cheese and bologna sandwiches for just about every meal. Uh, there's six people in the gym with no air conditioning, no phones, no showers. Uh, they have us locked in here. Negative people with positive people. They're not even moving them around. They're just everywhere. But they're still positive cases with negative cases and kind of that cross-contamination and then they're moving the negative cases to a dorm by themselves but they've already been ex everybody is sick they're all commingling um there's not really any uh quarantining to speak of because everybody has it mixed in together um there's some of them that has positive and some that has negative it's pretty alarming it's pretty it's pretty scary none of them were given the death penalty for their crimes and they shouldn't have to be on death row basically. They said 500 and something happened here. Only like 100 tested negative. They got us on quarantine, but we're quarantined together, so there's like six people in the hospital. The woman tells me she just got to that facility about two and a half weeks ago, but in that time frame, she has caught the coronavirus. She only has mild symptoms right now, but she has lost her sense of taste and smell. About 200 inmates are in quarantine in the gym right now to try and contain the virus, and the DOC says they're taking steps to control the spread and give inmates their proper medical attention. Some family members say they think their loved one would be safer at home under some sort of home supervision or a administrative parole instead of being put at risk for coronavirus behind bars where it's harder to contain. They're calling on DOC and state leaders to consider these options to help nonviolent offenders stay healthy. Could be a possible death sentence for her because she's an addict. That's not fair. You know, how is that just? How is that proven any just? <laughs> it's not. They tested me Wednesday and they told me Friday that I, I had it. They ain't giving us nothing. I mean, shit. Barely get our meals on time now. We didn't get lunch or dinner until 9 p.m. the other day. We ain't getting treated for it. We're just being quarantined. The only thing they're not doing is they're not letting, letting us outside. But as of yesterday, they started letting us all uh, intermingle again. It's been six months since we've all been on the yard together. Yesterday, they let us all intermingle except for the dorm that has it. And there was only like 100 people that had it negative which is crazy because one girl that was negative was drinking after me, and how is she negative? I don't think there's anyone negative. What about commissary? I didn't get it. But they, instead of just moving the 100 people that were uh, negative, they moved 598 people around the different dorm from being a positive dorm anyway. So, like, we didn't stop moving going above until 4.30 in the morning one. And they put me on the bus with no, with no spring. People are laying on the floor and put girls in here, assign them to a bunk where there is no bunk. People in our gym quarantine, there's people in the shoe quarantine, there's people in the hospital dying. And then there's 160 of us on this dorm right now. I mean, I, I think I had it for at least two weeks beforehand. Just, you can test positive for three months, but then I could be, a, I, but we're all asymptomatic. I mean, like, worst part of mine is my migraine, and I didn't ever really, you know, like, you know, I was wheezing the other day, but not very long. But, I mean, I I wear my mask like no other. They say it doesn't matter if you wear a mask if you're not sick. It matters if you're sick and wear a mask. Pretty much I'll start chiming in. Please start chiming in like I did earlier because we are needing some results. I have some results uh, and some answers that have been answered from different people. And we want to make sure that everybody's sure, sure, sure. We need y'all now to contact the state 
health department. We've Muskogee Health Department. We've gotten answers. We need to now have people contact the state health department. Um, let me get started on this. Pretty much you can see, and we're going to walk you guys down. Um, we've been on the phone that all the people, y'all, want to walk with us? Um, all the people that they pretty much say that everything is okay. So what we done is we went to the first councilman's office, which was Tracy McGee. Tracy McGee is the one who got everything activated for us. Um, she told me to come to her office, show her the video so she can confirm what was happening because that's kind of hearsay. She then, I gave her a demand on pretty much letting us talk to the other representatives, which is Mayor Coleman. His other representatives, um, one of the state representatives, which is um, Avery, and then also which is Mr. Payne and Kenny Payne, and we talked to everybody. I didn't talk to the warden. We had the state representative talk to the warden. Let me give you the results of this. They were made under the impression that everything has been taken care of in this facility. Now, if you can look and see, everybody know it down here at Eddie Warrior, they're normally out singing right now and singing all kind of gospel songs, happy songs, or whatever. Well, they said that pretty much that everything is going accordingly and that nothing was happening here and that they've been taken care of. So we put the warden on the phone and confirmed everything that was accusated um, pretty much to be confirmed. So you figure that out. So what we need you guys is to share this and we need you guys to actually put some heat onto the State Department because now what they're going to do is they're going to call in an emergency, an emergency inspection on this facility because simple fact is these people in here have not been getting taken care of. Sixteen Eddie Warrior staff members have also tested positive.